Wolves go fifth in the Premier League. When we started off the season, we started off a bit rocky, let's not lie. After the first four games, we were worried. The Europa League looked like it was taking its toll, but the way we've turned it around has been unbelievable. A lot of Wolves fans today, including myself a bit, but I was confident, thought we'd go there and draw at Bournemouth today. But we've gone there. In the first half, we were absolutely incredible. We just took the game to them. This team at the moment, the way we've set up the last few games, with Den Donker on the right side filling in for Bolly, and Neves and Martino midfield, obviously Adama, Jota, Jimenez up top. It's just so lethal. We're just killing teams. We're absolutely battering them. And I'm just looking at the replays here. We are flying. We're just flying. But unfortunately, we did um, let ourselves down a little bit in the second half. But anyway, let's stick to the first half. We could have been one nil up before we even scored. Adama was getting down that wing with his new hairstyle, by the way. I love his new haircut. Brilliant. But then Johnny went through, got the foul just on the edge of the box. Matinho stepped up. I thought, let's just cross it in, try and get someone to nod onto the end of it. But it was direct, so he absolutely pinged it into the top corner. Whether he meant to ping it into the top corner, I don't know, but I don't care. I'll take it. Great goal for Matinho, and he deserves a goal because he's been one of our best players. He's so consistent. Like, what a bloke he is. 33 years of age, he runs round. The energy on him is absolutely unbelievable. So to go 1 0 up was much deserved. We're the better team by a mile. And then we get another free kick, don't we? Matinho, quick thinking, through ball, straight through to Jota. Uh, no, sorry, not Jota, to Traore. He looks up, cuts it back to the main man himself, Raul Jimenez, and he slots in another goal. And I believe that he's 14 goals in all competitions for Raul Jimenez now. So fair play to him. Like Sometimes he can look a bit tired, but he still scores. He can look tired, he can look lethargic for all the travelling he does. He still scores. Like You can't not have Jimenez in your team. If he gets injured, we're in trouble. Traore, player of the season so, so far for me, another assist for him. Just unbelievable stuff. And then, come out second half, I mean, well, just before second half, they went down to 10 men, Francis got sent off. So, you're coming out second half, you're thinking, Wolves are going to go on and win this easily. I had a bet on, I had 3-1 Wolves and 4-1 Wolves, I'd back both. So, I'm a bit gutted because, as we all saw, Jota's goal was about four yards onside. VAR, what's the point in having VAR if they're not going to look at that offside and give it as a goal? What's the point? Is that why VAR, VAR isn't there? Why is that not given as a goal? He was miles onside. The linesman put his flag up straight away, which usually with VAR, they leave their flag down and let VAR make the decision. But I don't know. Do they have VAR at Vita? They've got to have their Premier League team. They've got to have VAR at the Bournemouth Stadium. But that's annoying that we didn't get that third goal. And then, as we know, Bournemouth down to 10 men, nothing to lose. They did get their goal off the corner. It took a bit of a deflection. It probably could go down as a Traore own goal, but Cook got the goal off a header. And then it was a bit nervy at times. Ake had that chance at the end, which went straight up Patricio, but Jota also had a chance for us to make it another another goal. So I think in all in all, we did deserve the win. Um, unbelievable stuff from Wolves. Fifth in the league. People said the Europa League would affect us. I'll be honest. It did start to a little bit. When we lost 5-2 at home to Chelsea, I was worried. I was like, the squad's too small. We got Vallejo, right centre-back. You don't look like a player. And I was worried, but we've come through. Nuno's worked his magic, shuffled it about as he always does. Everyone's on top form. What he's done for Traore this year has just been incredible. And we win again, lads. We win again. We're unbeaten. Is that in eight games now? In all, I think it's in all competitions. Eight game run. Maybe even the Prem as well. I know we've had a lot of draws, but... It's absolutely unbelievable. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you if you stayed on the watch along. I really do appreciate it. I do enjoy doing them with a couple of cans and that. And the next one will be against Braga on Thursday night. So can't wait for that. And come on, you walls. Please like and subscribe. Nearly at 2,000 subscribers. And I much appreciate it if you do. See, si, senor. Come on, the boys.